Thanks, guys. Down here courtside with our MVP of the game, our hero of the evening, and for good reason, Rivaldo Suarez. And Rivaldo, 25 points, 20 rebounds, 8 blocks, 6 assists. Those are numbers that Hakeem Olajuwon will be proud of. Here tonight, you put up together the full package as you have all season here in your senior year. Let's talk a little bit about your performance this evening. You know, I don't really think about the numbers when I go out there. You know, I just try to go out and do what's in front of me, whether it's getting a rebound or dishing out to a teammate. Absolutely, and from everything we've heard, you're an excellent teammate, especially for somebody who's so uh, ball-dependent. But you do a great job as a playmaker as well, not just a scorer, not just a down-low presence, but a guy who was originally a point guard and uses a lot of those traits to your advantage even as you grow and uh, play really all five positions for uh, Coach Brock. Yeah, you know, the height gives me an advantage, but once I get the ball, I'm one of the main people on the team, so the defense tends to look in on me and then that creates a lot of open space for anybody else on the court. To try Abs to absolutely. And Connor McCusker today, what an outstanding performance from him. He had seven three-pointers on December 30th, comes back today. Coach has said in the past, he seems to always be in the right place at the right time. That's got to help you a lot as a distributor. And man, and even on defense, you know, he's not much of a defender, but he always knows where to be. And I always know where to find him on the court for open three. He's going to knock it down. Well, Rivaldo, you guys are about a little bit before halfway through this season. You got a lot of games left to go against some tough city league competition, but you got your first taste of it today. What did you think of the uh, opposition and what's your uh, aspirations here for the rest of your senior year? Uh, you know, that's a, one of the city games under our belt and it gives our team, a little, a young team, a lot of confidence going further for the other teams that we play and playing Charlestown again. We know that we're going to have, it's going to be a a dogfight every game, basically, with city teams. So we got this is a good one to build our confidence. Certainly was, and a good win. Seven-point triumph. Great job. Best of luck the rest of the way. Let you go celebrate with your teammates. Coach Drew Brock, from and on in. You got your son here with yeah. you? Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely, and uh, we love having him on the air as well. And for you, I talked to you before the game, and you obviously you showered Hugh Coleman in a lot of praise. You said he's a tough guy, a guy who's not going to be fooled. And he came together with a good game plan against you guys, gave you guys a lot of trouble. And even Suarez had some fits early on trying to get open, had some tough uh, plays down low. Talk a little bit about what you saw from his Charlestown team and how you guys were able to come away still with a victory. You know, um, they're, they're, they're very big. I knew that they were going to uh, be very tough on the boards. I knew that they were going to play physical. I knew that they were going to penetrate, kick, shoot a lot of threes. You know, that's uh, Coach Coleman's style. Um, you know, I had four days of practice this week. I scouted them. I watched them play online twice. Um, I feel like we knew their tendencies. Um, one of the guys who went off in the first half, I think number three, hit some threes. Uh, he didn't do that when I scouted him. But, uh, you know, they had their game plan, and we had our game plan. And, you know, it was two, two coaches who were prepared. Absolutely. And you guys this season have been a second-half team. You've had four games so far this year where you didn't even reach double digits in the first half, and yet you're averaging over 70 points a game. What is that that causes your team to really not turn it on until they get to the latter portions of the game? You know, I, I wish I knew what it was because uh, we'd be undefeated right now. <laughs> um, I will say today was our best first quarter of the season. I think we were up at the end of the first quarter. That was the first time all season. Um, we just, you know, today in the locker room I said, you know what, we're just going to press them right from the jump. Um, I just kept emphasizing the three R's today. Rebound, rotate hard on defense, and run on them. And then we did those. Rebound, rotate, and run. What well, worked out for you guys to get a victory today? Last one for you, Coach. Obviously, last year, you guys above 500, but it wasn't quite the year that you expect to have for O'Brien basketball. Yeah. You guys are now 7-2, and two, five games above 500. Now you're getting into the nitty-gritty of your schedule. What's your uh, you know, aspirations, like I asked uh, your best player here for this season, and what are you hoping for your squad? I mean, you know, every day I show up at practice, uh, every game I show up, my aspirations is to win and continue to get better each week of the season. And, you know, the common goal is to make the city championships. We've made it the last three consecutive years in a row. Um, we've had a good run the last three years. I'm looking for some hardware. Uh, Hugh Coleman has one. Corey McCarthy retired. He has one. Johnny has one at Tech Boston. I still don't have one. So I'm out here to win a championship and uh, try to do whatever it takes to get my team to the promised land. Sky's the limit, right? Yep, yep, definitely. That's the aspirations for Coach Drew Brock and his now 7-2 and O'Brien Tigers. They are on quite a winning streak and on their way to a, a fine start here in 2019. Yes, Coach, thank thanks you. so much for thank joining you, us. Appreciate it. Thank you, my friend, for joining us as well. We've got a future star on the O'Brien team here in a few years. That'll do it from courtside. Back to you guys.